Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss one more problem regarding the stability and RH criteria. So here, he given some characteristic equation and is asking to find out the stability and the number of right hand side poles. So, so follow the same procedure. RH criteria table that is S power 5 and the S power 4, S cube and S square, S power 1 and the S power 0. This is the coefficients available. S, S terms and their coefficients. Just this is the plus 1. This is the plus 1 is the coefficient and the second coefficient is also so we are second coefficient is also 1 and next is 3 and the next is again 3 next is the 2 and next is again the 2 so these are the coefficients first we will find out this term next next coefficient 1 into 3 by 1 into 3 by 1 that means this is a 0 okay what about this what about this this term this term means 1 into 2 1 into 2 by 1 that means 2 by 2 this become the 0 2 by 2 this become the 0 okay so this is also the 0 whenever a this is the s cube row a row is a row is completely zero coefficient then the coefficient is named as the row of zero this coefficient is called as the roz roz means the name is row of zero row of zeros that means we have a row that row all the coefficients will be the zero we have three coefficients all are the zeros but above row we, we have not zeros whenever the row consisting of the all the coefficients are zero that is called row of zero so whenever in rh criteria row of zero occur we have to follow the some procedure or the instructions those are look at here rh criteria for roz ROZ means I already told you that is row of 0. ROZ means row of 0. That means that row is belongs to the RH criteria. All the coefficients are the zeros. In that first point, in RH criteria, ROZ occurs when poles are symmetric about the origin. So, in that the system consisting of the uh, poles but in that some poles have the symmetric about the origin what is that meaning so we have for example two poles are symmetric about the origin means like this two poles symmetric about the origin like this or like this so origin it has the same characteristics these poles are called symmetric about the origin so if the poles increases number of poles are four these are also the symmetric about the origin if we get ROZ, then we form the auxiliary equation. We should form the auxiliary equation by using the above row of ROZ coefficients. So we should form an auxiliary equation. So that means look at here. Here we have all zeros. So now we form the auxiliary equation. We mentioned that just form a auxiliary equation right using the above row using the above row means this is the row so what is the auxiliary equation the first term is the s power 4 1 into s power 4 and second term is the 3 into s square third term is the 2 so first we formed a auxiliary equation what about the third point number of symmetric poles will be equal to the order of auxiliary equation that means here the symmetric poles how many symmetric poles available will be discussed by the order of auxiliary equation so look at here this is the this is the auxiliary equation the order is 4 order of 
auxiliary equation e is the 4 so this that's why number of symmetric poles will be 4 here the number of symmetric poles of origin will be 4 yes we got we have the four origin poles symmetric about four next point differentiate the auxiliary equation will replace roz by a coefficients of the differential auxiliary equation first do the differentiation differentiation of the auxiliary equation so he told that do the differentiation that's why d by ds of auxiliary equation what is the auxiliary equation given the auxiliary equation is s power 4 3 s square plus 2 so just write s power 4 plus 3 s square plus 2 so by doing this we will get d by ds of s power 4 means we have 4 s cube and d by ds of 3 s square means 3 d by ds of s square means 2 s plus d by ds of 2 will become 0 then the differential of auxiliary equation we will get the 4s cube plus 6s plus 0 finally we have differentiation of auxiliary equation we get the 4s cube 6s plus 0 okay then what is the next step next step is auxiliary equation consists even powers of s we should get the only even powers of s so look at here by doing this we will get auxiliary equation generally look at here even powers this is the even power this is the even power s power 0 also even power okay so by that because roots are symmetric about origin why symmetric about origin means number of uh, number of s terms will be the 2 or 4 or 6 like that if those are odd it is not possible symmetric about the origin next the roz occurs only in odd powers of s row okay so this is the only odd powers of s row it will be happen so where look at here so this is s cube s cube is only odd powers the here only zeros will be happen maybe the s power i maybe the s power 1 also it will be happen it will be happen next the roots of the auxiliary equation is nothing but closed loop poles okay generally we are doing the auxiliary equation is nothing but we are getting the roots are nothing but those are the closed loop poles okay so if you are getting the roots we will get the closed loop poles so what is the next step from this from this next step we have 4 6 and 0 just replace here coefficient 4 6 so i am replacing this is 4 6 and 0 4 6 and 0 and continue the same procedure okay just those coefficients are replaced here and now find out this for the root so we will find 4 into 3 6 into 1 by 4 4 into 3 is the 12 minus 6 by 4 that is 6 by 4 that is the 3 by 2 so we will get here the 3 by 2 and this value last row is nothing but the 2 generally okay and next next we need to find out we need to find out this coefficient this coefficient what is the procedure 3 by 2 into 6 minus 4 into 2 by 3 by 2 okay 2 3 times cancel okay 3 into 3 is the 9 4 into 2 is the 8 by 3 by 2 1 by 3 by 2 nothing but the 2 by 3 so we will get this coefficient is the 2 by 3 and this pole just replace here the pole 2 okay this pole this pole this pole these three poles are same now if we look at here 
this side s power 5 column positive this is also the positive this is also the positive and these also positive these also positive these also positive okay so we have generally we have if you observe here in rh criteria after we are solving this in rh criteria just look at the rh criteria right hand poles right hand poles must be right hand poles is zero generally right hand poles is zero but system we can we can say that system may be the stable or marginally stable we don't know how to define this okay uh, but maybe system is marginally stable we can call it marginally stable yes when we are getting zero means we have marginally stable but we have four poles four auxiliary poles how they are replaced we have to write here okay uh, that means marginally stable and right hand poles is zero so that's why if you take if you draw the s plane here we have the four poles and four poles must be in imaginary axis four poles must be in imaginary axis why it is imaginary axis because this is the must be imaginary axis because it is marginally stable marginally stable how many how it is possible two poles are upside two poles are downside this is the one case marginally stable condition and the second case we will use like this the second case is at one point we have the two poles and this is the one point and here also the one point we have the two poles but which which pole diagram we should take is this is the correct this is not useful because whenever in imaginary axis two poles are placed at one point that system is unstable the system is unstable okay so yes here system is stable or marginally stable that's why we are using this so poles are replaced like this okay so whenever we are getting auxiliary equations is zero then we have to do the follow this procedure okay otherwise we didn't get the correct stability here we are doing in the question he is asking find out the stability system is the marginally stable because some poles are available here and the right hand poles is the zero okay and we need to discuss more about this row of zero okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you